What is up everybody, it's John Wood, just by chance, and tonight I'm going to give you a quick rundown of the camera control option using the Brain FPV Radix flight controller. Now you won't find this in the hardware manual of the Brain FPV Radix or on their website because there's just really so many options out there and different kind of cameras, it, it, it's just too non-inclusive and ultimately it's not an option that Brain FPV provides, they just support so for that, I'm just going to give you an idea how to hook it up and how to access it and run it using the Radix. So in my situation, I'm using the Runcam Micro Swift 3. And that camera is one of the newer ones that has the RXTX pins on the back of the camera. Now I'm not talking about the OSD control that uses the plug-in dongle. It has to be a newer camera that has the RXTX pins. So if you have that, what you want to do is take those and you want to find any spare UART on the Radix flight controller and in my situation I use UART 6 so you want to land the RX from the Radix to the TX of the camera and the TX from the Radix to the RX of the camera so once you've done that you need to jump into beta flight and you need to configure the port section and so I use UART 6, so I went in and you change the peripheral section to run cam camera control, save and reboot, and once you've done that, you've got everything completed. So the way you access this is you want to take your throttle stick up to mid throttle and smoothly and gently you want to yaw to the right. You notice that remote mode comes on. Now there's two menus with the cameras, usually one with the pilot tag, voltage, all that, and the other with the actual camera itself. So the camera itself, again, you go smoothly to the right, you notice that it brings up all of your menu. So if you want to cycle through, you use your pitch stick up and down to, to go through to which one you want to select. And then when you find the one you want to select, again, you go smoothly to the right. So you're done in here, we'll exit out of this screen. You notice that remote mode is still on. So now I want to change the camera power display and all that information. So I'm going to pitch forward and hold that for just a second. And you'll notice it jumps into the other menu. Again, you pitch up and down to select which option you want. And then you smoothly yaw to the right to turn it on or off or position it. So once you've done that again, you go to exit. You yaw to the right to exit. In remote mode, to exit this mode, you're going to roll, or excuse me, you're going to yaw to the left. Remote mode disappears, throttle down, and you can arm your board. And now your settings are changed, they're saved, and everything's good to go. So this should apply with many cameras. It can be a little bit finicky. Um, I'm running Betaflight 3.5.2 and everything works pretty smooth as long as you are smooth on the sticks and you're not in too big of a hurry and you're jumping around. So take your time, be patient, you'll get it. And once you do, it's pretty awesome because you can change every setting to any situation on the fly, no computer. So I hope it helped, I hope you enjoy. And as always, if you have any questions, um, definitely holler at me and we'll try to get you all hooked up. So big shout out to Runcam and especially Brain FPV for making all things happen. And thank you guys for watching and I hope you enjoy.